I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. With today's message, I wish to seek out God's people, the ones called by his name. We must realize the vital call and our need for humbleness, repentance, and serious prayer. Firstly for America and then for the world in general. In 1 Timothy 2.1, God urges us to pray. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people. I have taken that simple word urge all too lightly in the past. Strong's Hebrew Concordance gives us the word number 404 Asaph or spelled A-K-A-P-H in the Hebrew as to crave, urge, or we could say hunger after. The primitive root means to carry a burden. With the senseless murder of 17 students yesterday, we see internal turmoil continues to rise. THM's heart and prayers go out to all those families affected by this tragedy. A Christian with even a slight amount of discernment should easily be able to tell you the devil has not been bound yet. He still prowls the world, seeking who he may devour. Those not with us, professing or confessing Christ, will be against the good God wishes to do in our world. With a lot of families not raising their children in biblically based homes, these children will be the easiest tools the devil has at his disposal. That is an obvious fact with school shootings continuing to rise. In recorded history during the 18th century, one individual was killed at a school. In the 19th century, 24 students were killed. And in the 20th century, 254 were killed that includes the Columbine High School Massacre, which occurred on April 20th, 1999. With 17 years into the 21st century, 2000 to 2017, there have been 227 killed, which include the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut when 32 people were killed. Just seven weeks into 2018, the Gun Violence Archive, which tracks reports of mass shooting, defined as incidents where four or more people were shot, not including the shooter, reports there have been 30 mass shootings incidents so far in 2018, including yesterday's in Florida. We are now averaging one school shooting every 60 hours. My friends, today I am angry. Not with the world. Not even with the devil. But I am angry with myself for not seeing the word urge as a burden I should have been carrying all along. God wants all people to come into the knowledge of the truth. It may be self-centered, but with the mess I see today, I cry out, Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus, come quickly.
Dear Lord, teach us not to complain about the way things are. Teach us to pray effectively for the world. Teach us to be the elements of change you use to bring about repentance to the people of this world. Teach us to place our faith and our hope in you. Show us how to turn from our wicked ways so that you may heal our world. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen.